Hi, in this video, I will tell you about something called modular arithmetic. You will see that this is kind of new set of uh, numbers with, uh, with some new operations uh, that we will use uh, in another video to have new set of uh, uh, vectors. Okay, uh, to start with, let us just um, study again what are the integer numbers. Integer numbers, uh, and what are the, the components of this integer numbers? What is defining characteristics of integer numbers? First of all, it's a set. So set of uh, numbers, set of uh, elements, which we know what are the elements, like 0, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, and goes on. And we denote it by Z with that parallel line. And then we have something else which are we can do operations on these elements. What kind of operation we can add, addition, and we can do multiplication. If you want to study these uh, um, operations, they have different properties and in different uh, fields of mathematics, they have been studied in different ways. Uh, but what is important for us for um, in this video is that Z is closed under addition and multiplication. What does that mean? It means that Uh, the sum and um, product of two numbers, sum and product of two integer numbers is an integer. Again. So it means that if you do the operation, the result will be back into the set itself. So that's the word is closed it means that. Which is obvious, yes. You, when you add two integer numbers, it's integer. And when you uh, multiply two integers, you get, uh, well, again, another integer. Well, these are the main uh, players that define integer numbers. Now we want to use these main players and define what is called uh, integer modulo m. Well, where, where what is m? Where m is either two, three, four, and so on. So you fix a number two, three, any, any of these numbers, two, three, four, five, and so on. And then we can define something called integers modulo m. What, what do we need here is that first, I have to tell you what is set of the elements for this integers modulo m well these are integer numbers starting from 0 1 2 and goes up to 1 less than that m that we fix at the beginning this guy we denoted by z sub index m because i will say just z m for example if m is 2, we have z2 start from 0, go up to 1 less than 2, which is 1. Or z3, 0, 1, 2. 
those are the elements of this set how about the operations well there are two operations operations again addition and multiplication well how how are these operations defined this is where uh, defined as following steps first step one well perform uh, the regular uh, operation so perform regular operations like you have two integers a plus b or you have a dot b so you do uh, perform as if a and b are integer they are integers yes so for example zero plus oh for example zero plus one in z2 is well just like integers and zero um sorry one plus one is well if i apply regular uh, operation i get two but if i use two here c2 is not in z2 and that's bad because if the result of one plus one is two then z2 is not close under the addition and we don't like that and that's why there is another step step two if the result is not in zm replace it by okay replace it by an element in zm uh, but how do we find that element replace it by its remainder when it is divided by m well let, let us do this example here um here two plus two is two two is not in z2 you see two is not in z2 what should i do then replace two by the remainder of two when i divide it by two but we know that remainder of two when it is divided by by m here it is 2 is 0 because 2 is divisible by 2 okay 0 is in z2 take that 2 out and write that remainder 0 so 1 plus 1 in z2 is 0 it seems funny but that's the case uh, or let me just do another example two examples here two times one in z3 or two times two in z3 two times one perform the uh, regular operation two times one is two is two in z3 yes then just leave it like that two times one in z3 is two two times two if you per perform the regular uh, multiplication you get four but you see that four is not in z3 what should we do you should replace four by the remainder remainder of four when divided by by m which is 3 well 4 can be written as 3 times 1 plus 1 and that means that is the remainder so since 4 is not there we just 
throw it out and replace it by the remainder one two times two in z3 is one and well okay that's in that uh, setting if you do this operation with these two sets steps you will see that uh, the zm is closed under these operations well let's uh, at least complete something here that example complete the table of addition and multiplication for Z2 and Z3. Okay, so for Z2, we have 0, 1, and matrix, the, the operation, operation we want to make a table for is addition. So I have to add 82 elements and then see what is the result. For the product, we do the same thing. And we will repeat this for Z3, which has two, three elements and two operations. 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, and then multiplication 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. Okay, let's do this one. 0 plus 0 plus 0, well, it is 0, 0 is in Z2, so just leave it like that. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 is in Z2, so we'll leave it like that. 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 is in z2 so we'll leave it like that 1 plus 1 is 2 i cannot put 2 there because 2 is not in z2 i replace 2 by the remainder of 2 when i divide it by 2 and this is 0 so i do put 0 there for the multiplication, 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. All of the elements in this case were in Z2, so I didn't need to replace any of them by, by, um, by something else. So uh, that is the addition table. This is the product table. How about for Z3? Well, let's just do apply this. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 0. zero oh, sorry. 0 plus 1 is 1. And 0 plus 2 is 2. Well, all of them are in Z3. So I don't need to do any uh, further step. Uh, for 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 is not in Z3, so we have to replace it by the remainder of 3 when you divide it by 3. The remainder is 3 because 3 is divisible divisible by, by 3 and you get 0 there. How about 2? Two? 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 1 is again 3, but we replace 3 by 0. And 2 plus 2 is 4. We have to replace it for is not in Z3. We have to replace it by the remainder, which is 1. And that's that completes the addition um, table. Let's do the multiplication. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 2 is 2. That's nice. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and we have to replace it by the remainder of 4 uh, when you divide it by 3, which is 1. And then that's the, the table of 4 multiplication in Z2. Well, let's do a little bit more examples. Um, example. Uh, find the... Uh, result in the given Z M. 
Okay, what are the examples we have? So the first example is 2 times 2 plus 3 plus 1. Perform it in Z4. And uh, for the second one, do 2 plus 3 plus 4 times 3 in Z5. And it's interesting that we can do this one also in Z6. So 2 times 2 plus 3 plus 1 in, well, in Z6 also we can do this, yes. Let's just see what's happening here. So this guy is 2 times. 2 plus 3 is 5. Remember, Z4 is 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. 5 is not there, but if you want to replace it by the remainder of 5, when you divide it by 4, you can replace it by 1. So I have 1 plus 1. 2 times 1 is 2, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. All of these guys are in Z4. I'm not allowed to put anything in these equalities which are not in the set Z4. So that will give us 3. How about this one? 2, two plus 3 is 5. And uh, remember, Z6 is the set of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 is there. I don't need to replace it by anything else. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 is not in Z4, but when we replace it, when, uh, when uh, we have it, we have to replace it by the remainder of 10 when you divide it by 6. 10 is... 6 times 1 plus 4. So the remainder is 4. I can replace that by 4 plus 1. And 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 is already in Z6. And that is what we get. You see, we started with exactly same expressions. But in different Z, um, in different uh, integers, modulo different numbers, 4 and 6, we got two different numbers. Uh, and that's that's what the uh, modular arithmetic is. You have to be careful what you're doing in which uh, uh, modular um, integers you're performing the operations. So here, let's do this one. 2 plus 3 plus 4 times 3. We have to do that one first. 4 times 3 is 12. Z5 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not in Z5, but 12 can be written as 2 times 5 plus 2. So the remainder is 2. I can write 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. Well, 5 is not in Z5, but the remainder of 5 when you divide it by this 5 is 0. So this is 0 plus 2, and 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 is already in Z5, and that gives you 2. The final result of that one is 2. Well, someone also can give us equations in different uh, modular integers. So example, find values of x in a given zm which satisfy the equation so the equation is what 2x plus 1 equals to 0 first in Z2 and then do the same thing in Z3. Well, solving equations in 
in ZMs are tricky. But there's a good thing here that these guys have only finite elements. Yes. If you're trying to see if a, an equation has a solution there, you can check one by one. So here, there are only two elements we have to check for zero, for one. If x is zero, two times zero plus one is going to be zero plus one, and that is one. One obviously is not zero, so zero does not satisfy this equation. How about one? Two times one plus one. Two times one is two. And when you add it, oh, sorry. Um, two times a one is two, uh, but I cannot put two there because two is not there. Replace it by the remainder. It is zero plus one. This is one. And obviously is not equal to zero. So that doesn't satisfy. So 2x plus 1 has no solution in Z2. How about in Z3? Well, in Z3, we have three elements. We will check one by one to see which one satisfies the equation. 2 times 0 plus 1 is 0 plus 1, and that is 0. Oh, sorry, that is 1. Well, that is 1, and that means that, well, x equal to 0 doesn't satisfy the equation. How about 1? 2 times 1 plus 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 3 is not in Z3, but if you replace it by its remainder, what you will get is 0. Oh, that's nice. x equal to 1 satisfies uh, 2x plus 1. For uh, 2, also replace x uh, by 2. So four, 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, 4 in Z3, I have to replace it by the remainder, which is 1. Plus 1 is 2. And obviously, 2 is not 0, so this doesn't satisfy. x equal to 1 is the only solution of 2x plus 1 in Z3. Well, um, basically, in this video, we learn what are integers modulo m. In particular, we learn how to... Um, perform the uh, addition and multiplication in in uh, ZM, and we did some examples for.